Hello and welcome to episode 2 of our 4 day game of Capture the Flag Across Japan. We're still in round 1 which means right now it's just Capture the Flag Across Tokyo, but trust me, it'll get bigger. In this game, teams must use Japan's notoriously complicated rail network to go into enemy territory, capture their opponent's flag, and return it to their territory all without being caught. That's what Ben was up to last episode when I caught him, sending him back to Tokyo Station to wait out a 30 minute jail period. My partner Scotty and I are heading to enemy territory so we can do challenges, earn coins, and fund our run to Ben and Adam's flag. Which means that, by coincidence, we're taking the same train as Ben, making him the first guest on our brand new, totally not derivative, snack review show. Adam, we have stolen your teammate, and now we're gonna indoctrinate him into our snack show. Yep. We happen to be on the same train, so... Okay. Ben, I would like to welcome you to this special edition of Choo Choo Choo. It's yes, very no. derivative. It's a better name. Today on Choo Choo Choo, we have, for your pleasure, a kiwi chia seed drink. Ooh, it looks fun. It's very pulpy. How many chews out of chew? Choo Choo. Hey, buddy. You gotcha. All right. Back by the flag, back on defense. Bye, right, Ben. Come oh, on, gents. You're gonna need it. Okay, thank you. All right. With Ben now at Tokyo Station, he has to wait out 30 minutes of jail time. That means we have 30 minutes to get enough coins to make our run at the flag before he can hunt us down. So we better hurry. All right. Welcome back to Shinigawa, okay. Scotty. I want that one right there. Find three new friends. Find three new friends. Find three different species of living, non-bug, non-bird, non-human animals. You must clearly capture them on camera. That's not too bad. Don't no. do that. Yeah, we do. All right, let's do it. Okay. Okay. There's a Shinagawa Central Garden. Okay. Right near here. Gotta get your steps in, Scotty. Oh God. But I'm old. Adam is still at the flag. Freaking camper. I know, what's going on? He's gotta be getting bored by this point. Maybe he's eating noodles. So there's a bird, but bird doesn't count. Bird doesn't count. I think let's go to that garden, find some squirrels and stuff. Yeah. Do they have squirrels in Japan? I think so. Hello? Is a dog? Dog, please. Oh, I'm not loving this, Sam. No. Where's all the dogs? And the squirrels. If this was China, we could just go to a Walmart and we'd be done in five minutes. I don't know how many birds there are. I can't believe there's no squirrels. <laughs> this is so disappointing. I'm not surprised. There is an aquarium nearby. Ooh, let's see that. It's a 12 minute walk though. Okay. It's not nothing. That might be worth the time. Okay, so I have a while before anybody gets here. There's basically three ways into this area, probably less than a mile between them. So I'm just gonna go visit them and familiarize myself so that when they do start to get here, I can handle it. That's all the prep I can do. I'm gonna wait in the middle. Maxwell Aqua Park. It seemed like it was in here. Oh, this is a big here. Oh, here. Yeah. Here's one. Uh, Sam, there's two species in here. Well, I think we're going to see plenty. Mm -hmm. Here, fish. Definitely fish. I don't know. I don't know if we count fish as one big species or not, but no, it's a species. <laughs> Fish is not a species. Sam, explain to us what a species is. It's kind of like a breed. Except kind of like a breed. It's not really a breed. Whoa! It's like Disney World. Half of the challenge is getting out of this freaking maze. Look, Woo. jellyfish. So, jellyfish. Aren't species the ones that can? Yes. Nice. Dolphins. Do a jump. Do a flip. Do a flip. Do a flip. Do a flip. Sam, sharks. I'm trying to get out of here. This is kind of like the worst nightmare. <laughs> The entire dolphin show just let out. <laughs> Time to exit for the gift exit. shop. All right, so back to Shinagawa. How many did we earn? 
What's with these? Seven fifty each. That feels like it was underpriced, but well, I'll take it. All right, I am back in the game. Um, Sam and Scotty are still uh, at Shinagawa, I guess, doing a challenge or something. So. I can get there very quickly, and I'm just gonna hop on the first train out of here and start putting pressure on them. Maybe I can steal my coins back. That'd be nice. I earned those. It looks like Ben maybe just got on a train. In which case we should move. In which case, we should definitely move very quickly. He's in the station south of Tokyo Station. Yeah. Which doesn't make sense if he's doing a challenge, because that's in the neutral zone. So I think he's probably coming for us. OK. In which case, maybe we want to split up? No, I think we just get on a train that doesn't have a Ben on it. All right, here, pull a card. Pick a card, any card. Oh, Painter Draw Local Landscape. Painter Draw Local Landscape. You must use at least three colors. You must cover at least 75% of the canvas. The painting does not need to be good, but it must be reasonably recognizable as the landscape you're painting. You must spend a minimum of 15 minutes in a single location drawing slash painting. If you move, you may restart. That is okay. going to take some time. That is one to hang on to for a little while. Yeah. Okay. That one's not great. I don't love it's that. It's not great. What line do we need to be on? Yeah. Now? If we're going straight to the flag, oh, I guess we can take this and then yeah. go on foot. But Adam's going to be able to cut us off. OK, so it looks like they're back in the station now. The question's going to be, what time do they leave? Because they have a lot of options here. And I don't know who, um, which one they're going to take. Oh, luck. Ben's coming after them. They're going to have to do something. Ben is on his way to us right now, so we should move with him. Okay, let me just make sure this is right. Is that right? Yeah, Keiko Mainline? Yep. Wait, I'm not 100% sure this is right. It is not. <laughs> We're going north. Yeah. How did, I don't know, I don't understand how we I mean, this actually might work in our favor. Let's go back to Tokyo. I guess. And then take something fast. I guess. I suspect Ben is very confused right now. OK, so I just got off here at Tamachi Gateway uh, because it looks like Sam and Scotty started heading back the direction I came. What could they be doing? Where could they be going? I don't know what to do. OK. They turned around and went backwards. I'm going to Shinagawa to meet up with Ben. There's no point in me waiting back here. I can get to Shinagawa in like 20 minutes. So that's the plan. So what is our plan? So the plan is we're going to get off the last stop before Tokyo Station, get stationary supplies, and then evaluate from there whether we have the time to do the 15 minutes of drawing uh, based on what Ben does, basically. Yeah. OK, I don't know what they're doing, but I'm just going to get on the first train going back their direction just so that we can keep chasing them around. Um, and hopefully, we'll just figure it out. Yeah, that'll work. We'll just figure it out. I love that plan. Here we go. Here's a black one. Here's a highlighter. I think that's good. Do you want to navigate us to like just outside of the neutral zone? Yep. Because I think that's where we want to attempt this. Yep. So that we can abandon and dip back in if we need to. Go through here. Oh, yeah, that works. Ooh, this is fun. Oh, yeah. All right, so Ben is, um, Ben's hot on our tail. Is he? Yeah. OK. Well, let's go hang out right on the edge of the neutral zone, then. Yeah. OK. So they're, like, right outside of Tokyo Station. I think right outside the neutral zone doing challenges. So I'm going to leave and go after them, which should hopefully at least make it harder for them to do whatever it is that they are trying to do. The edge is right there, basically. 
Okay, we need, we need to start it quick. Okay. Okay. Oh, you can't even really see. But they're, they're right outside the neutral zone. Down this way. Obviously, they know I'm here. But all I can do is go towards them and follow them and see where they're headed. Okay, so, pencil. Does that count as different than black marker? Eh. Do you want me to go get another color just to be sure? Sure. Okay, I'll be right back. So it seems like they're just down this street. I'm gonna put my phone away and just run. Scotty, come on in. Come on in the neutral zone. He's coming. Right on top of them. Where are they? I think he's right on the other side of the street. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. This was the line. Okay. So we're good. Yeah, so considering that, I think we should head to Tokyo Station. Okay. Because we're gonna need to probably take a train out to complete this challenge, to build the time to do it. Okay. Okay, okay. so let's walk that way towards Tokyo Station. Are they down here? They might be down here. I'm gonna guess that they're down here. Let's see. Let's see if I can go down here. Okay, so that didn't work. And Ben nope. is right around here. And, you know, looks like, um, oh, sorry, shades need to go on. Um, looks like uh, Adam has decided to join the game. Yes. He's, he's in uh, Shinagawa it's, Station. It's, you know, one thing that we could consider, it's a little bit high risk, is taking a Shinkansen out of here to the mm. northern Yokohama stop. Just so you know, the Shinkansen, also known as the bullet train, is Japan's super high speed, super limited stop line. If we could get past Adam on it, we'd be on a rocket to the flag. I um, like that idea. The only problem though, is if Adam's in, um, we wouldn't want to do that if Adam is in Shinagawa, because then he would pretty safely be able to figure out where we are and probably get but on the train. would he know that we're on a Shinkansen? Not necessarily with confidence, but he could figure it out pretty quickly by the fact that it did, the train did not stop for there. I, I, if he's at Shinagawa, I think we're basically had the free pass through. I don't think he's going to be able to figure it out. In, in a way, we're just waiting to see what Adam does. Yeah. But yeah, let's at least get to the Shinkansen uh, stop. Yeah, uh, I think that's track. a good next move. All right. Okay, so Adam. Um, it seems like they're back in Tokyo Station. Okay. So, I mean, I could try and go out, like I can't tag them, I could try and go after them, but even that, like, in this station, it seems less than likely that I'll find them. Um, okay, so. So what should we do? Okay, here's what I think you do. Follow them, try not to be seen, see if you can find out what train they get on, then you could tell me and then I could get them. I would try to find them, and if you don't, then you've only wasted a few minutes anyway. Okay, all right. I'm gonna head okay. that way. Sounds good, bye. All right, while I wait, I'm buying a gachapon. Whoa, you can get a lizard. It's pretty awesome. Here we go. So hard to open. All right, back to Tokyo Station. Oh. Oh, here we go. This way. Okay, so Sam and Scotty are somewhere in Tokyo Station. The tracker is just not that precise, so uh, it's not gonna help me a lot. Um, again, I can't tag them in there, but I can at least try and find them and figure out where they might be going next. Uh, this way. Straight ahead now. Seems like they're right here. They've got to be somewhere in this room. I'm looking for Scotty. Scotty's very easy to spot. He's tall and ginger, like a giant beacon. No, 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 they're back this way. Same thing. 15 over here. So, question is do we want to get on this? That's a good question. So, Adam still is in Shinagawa, seemingly. 
I still think we're gonna breeze through. I don't know. It's, it is a choke point. I don't think he's gonna be thinking Shinkinson. Wait, on a platform? What track is that? Are they on the Shinkinson? It looks like they're on the side of the station that serves Shinkinson trains. Yeah, we have three minutes to decide whether to get I on this. I think we just roll the dice. Uh, I don't think he's gonna catch us on this. I mean, so you, you just want to roll the dice? I mean, I feel like I feel like this is a predictable move. I don't think he's gonna be able to figure out what platform to get on in time. Uh, yeah, this rocks. I'm gonna name him. I'm gonna name him Chris. Oh, I'm getting a call. Hello? Adam, Hello? I think that they're on the, I think they're on the sign of the station that serves the Shinkinson. So see if you can do anything with that information. Sign of the Shinkinson, got them. it, got it, okay. Okay, sounds good, bye. Okay, uh, no time for this. Uh, I'm gonna go station myself over by Shinkinson lines. Let's go, Shinkinson. Let's do it. You just roll the dice? Yeah. All right, rolling the dice. So this is definitely, this is definitely a roll of the dice. Good. I just have faith that this is gonna be really hard to figure out. These are the Shinkinsons. They would be headed towards Osaka. I don't love this. I don't have a great feeling about this. I have a good feeling. You have a good feeling about this? Good feeling. Oh, they're on the move. Oh, shoot, they're on the move. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. When did they leave? When did they leave? Just now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I see they left. Yeah, yeah. They're on the Shin Osaka. They're on the Shin Osaka. I got to figure out which one. That wouldn't be them. That wouldn't be them. Okay, okay. Okay, so Adam is still in Shinagawa. Yep. So, this is definitely a gamble. Yeah. Hey, well, let's see if he's on the platform. We'll be able to tell if he's on the platform. And maybe if he's on the platform and he gets on, then we both get off. Theoretically. And then he's stuck on a Shinkinson for the next 18 minutes. I guess we could try to spot him from like yep. over there. Yeah, let's just look out the window. Well, maybe we should get at the door and try to spot him okay. as we roll okay. onto the platform. Okay, okay. I'm almost positive they're gonna be on a train coming in here. Okay, I'm taking my hat off to be a little less recognizable. All right. Why is this better than looking out the window? Just because this way we can pop out immediately. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure their train's gonna be coming here. There it is. Okay. Now here's the question. Do they get off it? Oh, this is going way fast. I haven't seen him yet. See him, yeah. Still in there. there he is. I just saw him. Oh sh I saw them. I saw them. I saw them. I saw them. I saw them filming. Okay, well we need to pop off. Here, it's got it. Hurry up, hurry up. Hold on that Okay, I have to see if they get off. So we have party for the last minute. Pop off a knife. I got him, I got him. Hello, gentlemen.
See you later. Well, I thought we, yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna discuss it. Yeah. Hello? Hello? I got him, I got him, Ben. You got him? Okay. I'm working on getting to you. We're gonna travel together and make a run for it. Boy, he's had some caffeine. Well, he hasn't been doing anything all day. <laughs> oh my God. This rocks. Okay. I'm gonna have Ben meet me on this train. We're gonna do the attack together. Hell yeah. Okay, all right, welcome to Shin Nihonbashi. Adam is gonna get here in like 20 minutes, and basically all we need is like one challenge's worth of coins to get all the way, do the full run. While Adam heads here, I'm gonna see if I can just get a challenge done. I'm gonna have to shuffle with one hand. Okay, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Hard is get a snack on a stick. Get a snack on a stick. It must be on the stick when you buy it. Let's see if we can do that here. No, none of those are snacks on sticks. Okay, 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 okay. This station does not seem to have a lot in the way of snacks. Note to self, don't do that again. Yeah, that was a good learning lesson. Yeah. Um, yeah, part of this is like, not having played this before, it's a little bit hard to, to figure out some of the real minute, real world interactions of like, yeah, how hard is it going to be to catch somebody and stuff? Yeah, the lesson learned, harder, easier than than I thought. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This. This is definitely a snack on a stick. Okay, snack on a stick acquired. All right, train is here. Gonna get on. Feeling good. Hey, buddy. I can't believe that we're here. In the snack zone. Uh, All right, so that was not rad. No, no, I, I am, I'm kicking myself here. Yeah. Um, it was a learning lesson for someone who's never played the game. Learning experience. Don't need to dwell um, on the past. I, have you checked where they are recently? Seems like they're moving. Oh, they're on a train now. Oh, uh, that's not, so not rad. Here's the issue. A little ways away. Adam, Adam has a bunch of coins. got a lot of coins. And the real issue is the fact that, is the geography. Yeah. Where they can just continue to outrun us all the way to there. What are our options right now? So at a certain point in the day, there is a strategic advantage to kind of cutting our losses for this round because our coin balance yep. carries over to the next. Yep. So if we think that they're they're gonna get this, there is some logic to just kind of letting them do it and doing some challenges to earn the coins yeah. to be able to set ourselves up for a really strong start next round. I don't emotionally love it. I don't emotionally love it either. I do see the raw the raw logic in it. It's, yeah, you, you gotta look at the logic. Okay. I, I also don't love it. It's, it, it yeah, feels it just doesn't feel me Especially because we were on top of the world just like 30 minutes ago. I know, I know. All but right. but th th on the bright side, we will be able to start next round strong. Yes. All right, so I, the tracker could be wrong, but it looks like they've left Tokyo Station and they're probably just doing the challenge. I think they've given up. I think they've realized that they can't catch us, which they, they are right about. Yeah, I mean, they could have gone after us, but what they're doing seems pretty smart to me. We don't have to go back. We can just go around. Yeah, the, their chances of catching us are so low. That it makes sense for them to just get a head start in the next round. So I think we might have round one in the bag. 
So basically the next hour is just us doing challenges, but because you already know who's going to win this round, let's just summarize. Scotty and I went to a lovely spot to draw our landscape, which turned out… Uh, fine. Then pulled our next card, which required us to kawaii-fi ten of our belongings, making them adorable by giving them eyes and mouths, which I think you have to admit, we nailed. Then we pulled Play Pocky Hockey, requiring us to hit a piece of Pocky into a Pocky box with a Pocky stick, which we also nailed. If by nailed you mean only made it on our last attempt before Force Veto, all of which put us both at a healthy 3,250 coins. Meanwhile, Ben and Adam made it to the flag. Adam left Ben behind to run and grab it because, you know, I don't really need to explain that, brought it back, and then had to wait a while for their train to victory, so figured they should also do some challenges. They pulled Go Super Saiyan, requiring them to gel their hair straight up, which looked amazing, and earned them 750 coins. Then they had to make sushi, which for reasons beyond comprehension they did with bacon filling and dried squid on top, which, no surprise, did not taste amazing, though it did bump them up another 1,000 coins apiece. So bad. Then their train came, they got on it, and round one was over. That's round one in the bag. That's round one in the bag, baby. Never count the boys out. Never count the boys out. It's so I saw you counting count the that. boys out earlier. We saw it, we saw it, and we heard it, and we said, we're going to teach you not to do that anymore. And I hope you learned your lesson, I because we really just secured round one. And here we are. I feel so good. Nagaura. So You're let's ready to turn back around and go to Tokyo. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a journey. Let's yeah. inform Sam and Scotty that they have lost the first round. Well, we may not have won this round, but I think we're setting ourselves up for a pretty good position going into the next yeah. round. We definitely should not mention what we've been doing to them. In particular, oh, we don't want them to know exactly the how many points we have. Adam says, halt your challenges. Okay, first round is complete. All right. GG, boys. GG. We'll get you in the next one. Yeah. Okay, so Ben and Adam won round one, which gives them one point. But round two is bigger, better, and crucially, tougher to win. First, we've added a whole new, much bigger region to each side. So now each team has to capture and return both flags from both of their opponent's regions in order to win. The round has a 16-hour time limit, so if neither team returns both flags in that time, the win goes to whichever team returned more flags, or if that number is the same, whichever team transported flags a greater distance. Because Scotty and I lost last round, we got to choose our side, and this time we're taking the south, meaning we'll be trying to steal this flag in Funabashi and this one in Sendai, while Ben and Adam need this one in Kawasaki and this one in Nishio. In order to cover all that ground, coins are now much more valuable. A mile will only cost you 10 coins instead of 50. Also, to make it possible to actually get out of the Tokyo area, Shinagawa Station and Ueno Station are now both neutral zones. And if all that wasn't enough, we also have a new power-up available. Towers. They cost 750 coins, and teams can drop them wherever they want, both in their own and in their opponent's territory. When opposing players enter the tower's radius, they'll be subject to its effects. Oh, and one other thing. Because there are two flags, this round's worth two points. So if Scotty and I can win it, we'll pull ahead in the overall game. So that's round two. And it starts now. All right, gentlemen. Round two begins. Now, good luck. All right, let's go. Okay, we have a plan. Uh, it's basically full court press. We're both gonna go on offense, but we're gonna go for different flags. I'm gonna go for the far flag, Ben's gonna go for the close flag. And then I'm gonna go on defense because we think the only way we're gonna catch them is on the rebound anyway, so I might as well go for the near flag. What do you think we should do? We have a lot of coins. We have a lot of coins. I think we should sprint for the farthest flag. We're not gonna get caught before we get to the flag. No, not before. Uh, the only question uh, is, can we get out? But we can split up. I think I think that's our move. So you think up to just Sendai? Go, go, go. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Okay, just so we're clear here, the teams have adopted similar strategies, both going straight on offense, but with a key distinction. Scotty and I are going for the far flag together, which will save us coins and prevent us from being slowed down by challenges, while Ben and Adam have decided to split up, meaning they'll cover more ground, but move more slowly, having to stop for challenges. Adam's going for the far flag, which is quite annoying to get to, and Ben's going for the near flag, then turning around to go after us once he's returned it. Basically, it's a bit of a speed run. So let's see who can run faster. Okay, I gotta get on a Shinkansen ASAP. All right, good luck. All right, I should only have to take one train to get to their flag. That should be this one. 
Oh, it's gonna be a cozy train. All right, I gotta get on it. Shinkinson. ASAP. Um, I don't even know what the next one is. Kato Shinkansen tracks. Okay. 6.30, track 18. 6.30, where's it going? Where's it going at 6.30? Where's it going at 6.30? Where's it going at 6.30? Platform 20, there's one in um, okay. five minutes. Here, this way. Okay, so that took forever to figure out, but I finally found the right one uh, that stops locally, leaves in 20 minutes, so. It looks like they're both going on attack, so at least I'm gonna get to the flag, no problem. going almost 170 miles per hour. This is redonkulous. And I think we're gonna get in faster. Interestingly, that one's not left Tokyo Station, which if he took the train after us, he would have by now. Interesting. So, it doesn't seem like the right move, but often when they're not doing the right move, that makes me more concerned, because it's like, oh, they thought of something they did. And it looks like they are just blasting right past the near flag, which in my opinion, it's kind of stupid because Ben is gonna get the near flag very easily. We're gonna bank a flag, they won't have any. And then Ben can just go on defense anyway and all he has to do is block them on the way back, which I don't know. Okay, so I've made it to Kowalski. Their flag's only about a half mile from here, so I'm just gonna look at uh, to the best of my ability, and just get this flag scored, nice and scored. So it seems like what they're probably doing is Ben is going for the closer flag, Adam's going for the further flag, and I'm guessing that Ben is going to start to switch to defense. Um, yep. Once, uh, once he's done getting that flag. Honestly, not a bad strategy, but it's going to take Adam at least five hours, probably closer to six, to get that flag, plus he'll have to do challenges. Yep. So it's going to take him a while. OK, so um, I'm on the bullet train. I'm realizing, though, that it's going to take a while to get to the flag, just because it's sort of in a weird location, even though it's about the same distance from the center. So I'm going to be pretty significantly slowed down. So I just really am going to need Ben to be able to slow them down when he goes on defense, you know, block off stations, force them on regional lines, which I do think he's going to be able to do. I don't know. I don't know. See the vending machine. Okay. Okay. This is it. Please. Okay. Flag captured. I just gotta get back across our side with it. That's my train back. So it seems like Ben has either gotten the Tokyo flag or is very, very close to it. He's at the right station, so mm -hmm. I think it's a foregone conclusion, he will have the flag. Yeah, for sure. And Adam's in um, Shin Yokohama. Okay. So this might come down to a drag race here. Yeah. So Ben's audio cut out here, but here he is returning the near flag. Yay for him.
Open the center. Hey. Look at it. Not what I had planned, but it'll work. It We're is going shot way. It's what I got out of the people, huh? Just to explain why we're running. Yeah. Do we want to try to hopefully make it back for a train that's in 15 minutes? Because then we have about 20 minutes of walking. Yeah. So walking seems like not the move. One of us is training for a marathon. Yeah. And it's not me. Yeah. So Ben is still in UNO station, seemingly. Yeah. So I think he might just be waiting us out there, ready to respond. I'm surprised he had that much budget. Ready, go. Okay, so now that I've captured the near flag, let's go. The name of the game is Stop Sam and Scotty. So my plan is I have enough coins to buy two towers. So we're just gonna start pulling them. First tower is, what is it? Pizza tower. Pizza tower. Opponents may only move in this area while holding pizza. Okay. This one, I think, is pretty good. Uh, you can drop it right on top of them, and if they don't already have pizza, it's gonna force them to stop whatever they're doing and go get pizza before they can do anything else in the game. So, this one I think is pretty solid. Okay, what is it? Trap Tower. Trap Tower. If opponents are texted trap in this area, they are frozen for 30 minutes. Opponents do not need to be informed of this tower's placement, but if someone says they placed a trap tower, it must be the truth. So they, they won't know that this one is down, but if they go into its pretty small radius, um, they get we can freeze them for 30 minutes. So this one I think is also pretty good. Um, it's a little, I think it might be a little tricky to use, but I think it's I think it's solid. If I can set myself up in the right spot and drop these towers on them, I should be able to tag them. So let's go. How far are we, Scotty? Oh, close. Close. Okay, that's good. Oh, that looks like that might be it. I right. Ah, right, uh, yes. That. Yes. No IC card. But well, it takes notes. <laughs> People are stopping to help us. <laughs> Just really like, what is this? Third okay, one. Third one. So you flying. Change. Let's go. So, this is our flag. What is this, by the way? Do you know? Uh, I think it's tea. It, it's got like a stick in it. Oh, it's got a fish in it. See that? Hell, it does. Is it like fish tea? It was expensive. Yeah. Might be alcohol? Yeah, look, see that little fish? Huh. Are you gonna drink it? No. Not yet. Not yet, I, but I might. Celebratory, right? Yeah. Tokyo Station. Nope, in Tokyo. Not in Canada. Right back the way we can. It's gonna be tight. Yep. Scotty, quickly, what are your impressions of Sendai? Um, it's cool. Feels like there's less oxygen. I think we've done it, Scotty. Hopefully. Platform 14. We go. right in there. Let's go. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, stop for a second. Nice job. I cannot believe we did that. That was, that was like 14 minutes. Wow. Okay, that was awesome. That worked very well, and I am wiped. You wanna, you wanna sip of uh, fish tea? <sighs> this is a picture of a flying fish. That's awesome. It might be soy sauce. It's an aggressive amount of soy sauce. Soy sauce. Want some? Very fishy. Yeah, that's soy sauce. Well, we now 
all basically need to decide our path into Tokyo. Yeah. All right, well, it seems like they've gotten on a train to I don't know where. I don't know what train they're on. We can't tell what train they're on, but I'm pretty sure they have to go through Omiya in order to get back, at least if they want to get back in any remotely quick way. So I'm going straight to Omiya now, and hopefully we can figure out what they're doing. Best I can tell, Ben is on this train, but I don't really understand why he would be on that train. It doesn't seem to make sense. All right, I've made it to Omiya. Um, and the deal is, from what we can tell, basically, if they want to get to Tokyo, they've almost certainly got to go through here. Okay, now I have it figured out. Okay, so Ben's probably going to there, Omiya. We oh, yeah. No, Omiya. Oh. We are stopping at Omiya. Oyama. No, Omiya. What? You see? So Sorry. I think we can be pretty confident that, oh, I see. That's where he's trying to choke us off. So he, no chance. They might think they can give me the slip, but if I pop down the pizza tower and force them off their train, it's a pretty big station, but I think I'd be able to get them. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna post up here and sit menacingly and hopefully scare them or something. I don't know. Are they scared? I hope they're scared. What the f are towers? <laughs> Well, they can find out next episode, uh, which is up right now on Nebula, or they can find out in the uh, the Layover podcast, uh, which, what is that, Ben? So every week we hop on a call after the episode goes up, and we, uh, we, we talk to Scotty and we go over, like, everything that happened that week and, and all of the implications of all of the strategy and the what-ifs, and, and this week we're really going to be diving into everything to do with round two because now they're the map is so much bigger there are all of these new really mechanics the and we're going to dig into all of that in detail and really get into the nitty-gritty so if you're interested in some of the behind the scenes and like how the game is working the the layover podcast is, is that's what you want to be listening to. tens of thousands of people listening each week it's it's amazing and you can listen to the layover exclusively on nebula nebula if you don't know is the creator owned and creator founded and creator run streaming site that was built to be the best home for creators' content. So not only do you get one week early episodes of Jet Lag, not only do you get the Layover podcast, which by the way, there's like about 100,000 people who watch Jet Lag one week early on Nebula, and there's like Discord discussions and Reddit discussions, and if you want to be able to be part of that whole community, uh, subscribing to Nebula is a really great way to do it. But it's not just Jet Lag. There's so much original content on Nebula. There are full-length documentary films, there are full-length actual films, there are stage plays, there are multiple original series, all by a lot of creators who you probably already watch who were just given more money and more time to make their passion projects. And all of that is, is stored on Nebula. Yeah, it turns out that if you just take creators who are like really good at operating on a budget on YouTube and making content that people actually want to watch and have earned an audience through that and just give them more budget, they, it, it's intuitive. They just make better stuff. And, and that was a lot of the idea behind Nebula. And also to create a more sustainable ecosystem for these creators. Um, there's a lot of, that goes into that uh, with like the business model, but one of the most crucial aspects is the fact that when you sign up using our link, nebula.tv slash jetlag, we actually get a portion of your subscription fee for life, for as long as you stay subscribed, which gives us um, predictable, recurring, stable monthly revenue that's not impacted by the ebbs and flows of, of, um, of ad rates. And that really allows us to confidently reinvest in the show and make it bigger and better and cooler and everything. And also, if you use our link, you get $20 off an annual subscription, so a great deal for you too. So uh, basically, click the button that's somewhere on screen or the link down in the description to sign up uh, using our code. And thank you in advance for your support. Thank you. Bye.